Hey everyone, and I was watching Charlie Sisko's, um, her smoking vlogs, um, which I am very proud of you during those, um, I just wanted to make this video about the things that, in my whole life, what I sacrificed. Mostly because you kind of inspired me to think of everything that I've kind of gave up and walked away from. So, starting off, um, sorry, my foot's bothered bothering me. Um, I was kind of obsessed with drinking pop. Um, I think it was like a year ago and I always had a coke. In my old videos you've always seen a pop in my bedroom. It's either you see me drinking a pop or you see it on my desk. And but that was in like 2009. Um, but other than that, I haven't drank a pop. The only times I drank a pop was when I, there's nothing else around, or, actually, no, there, it, that's the only reason, if there's nothing else around, because if I drink pop, my stomach has gotten so used to not drinking pop at all. Whenever I drink pop, I feel like I'm sick. That's kind of how bad it is. So I hardly ever drink pop. And, yeah. I have never gotten into Mountain Dew. My dad's crazy with Mountain Dew, which your theory about getting um, on meth is better than drinking Mountain Dew like crazy. Yeah, he his breath's terrible because his teeth are like broken. They're the it's just no, it's it's terrible. Um, but my mom is quitting smoking. She hasn't smoked for quite a while. She has gone on those like smoking patches that you put on your arm. Well, they're nicotine patch patches and she says it's not good to start on the first one. Mostly because it gets you it just makes you feel sick and everything, so it's better to start on two or three and then like work your way up to one because it just I don't know, but her saying it just works a lot better. And then, other than that, I, what's another one? Well, biting my nails. That was a huge sacrifice. Oh my god. Every time I watch a horror movie, every time I watch Charmed, even, even when I watch Charmed still, I want to bite my nails, but even when I do, I like, do this. I don't bite them, I just like, kind of grind my teeth, not really grind my teeth against them, I'm like, like that. Or like, or I like bite down on them, not actually bite through my nail. Just to kind of replace the urge of trying to bite my nail. I've dealt with. Okay, I'm gonna yawn. I can't hold it in anymore. Um, I've bitten my nails ever since I knew I had nails, pretty much. Or until my dad told me that he was biting his nails. I guess it kind of ran, ran in the family because. My dad, sir, he still bites his nails like mad. Um, it's actually really bad because you see this white part of my nail? It's like where the pink stops and white forms. Well, I guess you can see it better on this. But where that white part is, his he bit under it. That's how bad it was. And that's what I did. And, like, you know that feeling when you bite your nails like and you go too far? They hurt. I still remember that feeling about... Especially if you hit your finger on something and then you seriously want to scream because it hurts like you got stabbed. Oh my god, it's a terrible feeling, which I'm really happy I've stopped. Okay. You know what? <sighs> I'm gonna just stop trying to make me stop yawning. I'm just gonna yawn no matter what. I hurt myself to help me stop yawning because my grandpa said if you want to stop um, pain in one area, you have to cause pain in another. Which, that actually helps me. But, yeah. So that's two things I've given up. And the biting the nails thing, actually that was help with the witch's bottle. I've learned it from... Where did I learn it from? I think tiptoe check.
I, I really have no idea who I learned from. It was either a typical chick. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think it was tip to check. Um, but, yeah, I've, I made my witch's battle for that, and I haven't bitten my nails in, like, a few months, so that's really good. Um, the other habit I really want to stop is, what is it? I just had it. Hmm. <sighs> What is it? I think the other habit is not being so lazy. Because seriously, that's my worst habit. I'm really lazy. And I admit it, so it's not that bad. It's just reflection. But, yeah, I'm really lazy. Seriously, I I don't get motivated to do anything. I'm surprised I'm not fat. Ugh. Even though I do say I'm fat. I feel fat. But I'm not fat. It gets really annoying if you think about yourself and then think about others. You're always going to be like kind of self-conscious about yourself in this. No, you're always going to be self-conscious about yourself and comparing yourself to others. And it's just kind of wacky of the things you think. So yeah, those are all the things that I sacrificed in my life. See ya. Okay, no, but I got about to say it like that. Hmm. <sighs> you can tell I was going to be yawning when I was saying that. Okay, see you guys. <laughs>